Hi guys, my name is Ibrahim Molajide. I'm a civic education instructor. Today, we will be talking about traffic regulations, the meaning of traffic regulations, list of traffic regulations, rules of government and individuals in maintaining traffic regulations. Also, we'll be talking about road signs. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to explain traffic regulations, state some traffic regulations, identify the rules of government in maintaining traffic regulations, also to identify the rules of of individuals in maintaining traffic regulations, identify some road signs and what they mean, meaning of traffic regulations. Before we talk about the meaning of traffic regulations, we will first of all define traffic for proper understanding. Traffic can be regarded as the movement or flow of vehicles, people and animals in a specific pattern and rate along minor or major roads. All traffic regulations are laws and rules which govern traffic, regulate vehicles, and facilitate the orderly and timely flow of traffic. These are lists of some traffic regulations. If you are driving a car, use a seatbelt. Number two, obey traffic lights. Number three, do not eat or drink while driving. Number four, do not drive under the influence of alcohol. Number five, do not drive without a driver's license. Number six, do not make or receive calls while driving. Rules of government in maintaining traffic regulations. Number one is provision of good roads. The government should ensure the roads are smooth, wide enough and safe for road users. Number two, provision of funds. Government should ensure the appropriate agencies such as the Federal Safety Commission have adequate funds to work with. Number three, provision of road signs. Road signs should be placed at appropriate location. Number four, provision of parking lots. The provision of parking lots will reduce congestion on the road as more people will stop parking their cars along the road in busy areas. Number five, provision of traffic lights. Traffic lights should be provided at strategic junctions. Government should ensure such lights function properly all the time to avoid confusion and prevent accidents. Number six, discouragement of street trading. Street trading causes obstruction on the road, so the government should discourage the street trading. Number seven, training of staff. Traffic officials should be properly trained to do their job well. Role of individuals in maintaining traffic regulations. Number one, observance of road signs. The road user should observe road signs and obey them as one of the roles of individuals in maintaining traffic regulations. Number two, learning to use vehicles properly. Motorists should learn to drive properly with the assistance of driving instructors before trying to obtain a driver's license, before, before driving on major Roads. Number three, possession of important safety equipment. Motorists and their passengers should use their seat belts. Also, motorists should possess in their vehicles items like fire extinguishers, sea caution, jacks for their tire, and the likes in case they are needed. Number four, ensuring vehicles are roadworthy. Motorists should ensure their vehicles are roadworthy. Vehicles owners should ensure their vehicle work properly before they use them to avoid accidents on the road. Number five, obedience to traffic regulations. Road users should obey traffic laws. Some people behave in whichever way they like. For instance, some people drive against traffic because they are in hurry. So, individuals should always obey traffic regulations. Road users should also discourage street trading because it causes obstruction on the road and also cause congestion for road users. Road signs. Road signs are official symbols or designs established to give the road users certain information about traffic rules and regulations. Below are examples of road signs. The first one is the sign which indicates no parking. Or the second one is sign for roundabout. Or the next one indicates that pedestrians is prohibited to cross here. The next one, number four, this indicates no entry by vehicles. The next one means zebra cross, which signifies that vehicles should stop and allow pedestrians to cross. The next sign indicates that children are crossing at that junction. Or the next sign indicates that U-turn is not allowed. The next sign after that means that overtaking is not allowed at this point. Or the next one is traffic lights. And the last one is sign that shows that hospital is located at that 
point. There are a lot of road signs we can still read about. So we move to summary. Like we said earlier, traffic regulations are law and rules which govern traffic, regulate vehicles and facilitate the orderly and timely flow of traffic. Both government and individuals have their roles to play in maintaining traffic regulations. Road signs are official symbols or designs established to give the road users certain information about traffic rules and regulations. Assignments list and explain 10 traffic regulations. Thank you.